Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add a Select All option to your right-click context menu. And that way you could just a, you have a quick shortcut to select everything, let's say in your desktop or in a folder, um, without having to go to, you know, for, you know, click on the first one, click on the last one, or, you know, draw a box around them. Of course, you could do Control-A, that's probably the quickest way, but uh, this is more of just a fun thing, kind of a novelty more than it's really going to help you out time-wise. So it's up to you if you want to give it a shot just to see how it works for you. So to do so, we're going to do a little registry edit here. So I'll put this in the description. All you got to do is copy and paste this into Notepad and save it as a registry file. So do a save as, and then you know put it on your desktop and just to uh, select all. Then make sure you put .reg instead of .txt, and that way you'll have a select all reg. Then you just double click it, say yes to the prompt. And it's going to say, do you want to add this to the registry? Say yes. It's been okay. So now we probably have to restart Explorer. Nope. Actually, we don't for this one. Lots of times when you do a registry edit, you'll have to restart Explorer for this one. You don't. So now you have a select all option. Same for in here. Select all. So this probably works better for Windows 10 because Windows 11 you have to do show more options and then you have your other selections here. But of course you could also switch the uh, Windows uh, 11 right click menu option to work like Windows 10 so it gets rid of the show more options thing. So we have a video on that which I'll put in the description. So once again just like I said copy and paste this from the description into notepad, save it as a .reg, double click it and you're good to go. And then if you want to get rid of it you could save this as a Dot reg. I'll put this in there as well. So let's try it out here. Okay, let's see what happens here. See, now the select all is gone. So if you don't like it, you could just do the same thing with this registry file here, and then you'll be good to go. All right, give it a shot and see if you like it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.